Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what is data attribute. If you have a basic understanding of HTML, then this would not be different for you. In HTML, you can specify data attribute using data name along with the name of your data. So, it means any attribute on any element whose attribute name starts with the data is a data attribute. Suppose you have an element and you wanted to store some data for extra information that doesn't have any visual representation. In that situation, you can use data attribute. Like this, in HTML, you can specify data attribute to the element. So I will just create navigation tag here and say class navbar and specify two data attributes. So I will say data number zero and create my second attribute so I will say data name now bar light right so we had created two data attribute here now if you wanted to use any extra information in your JavaScript program then this data attribute will definitely help you now suppose if you have two navigation menu with same class and if you wanted to access the first navigation menu with their name then the data attribute will help you like this so i will just create two navigation menu here i already created my first navigation menu so i will just copy the first navigation menu and paste it here and just change my data attribute to one and the data name navbar dark in main.js file i will just first select my navigation tag using navbar class so i will say let now is equal to document dot query selector all I will just call query selector all method and in the parenthesis I will say dot now bar right using the class name we will access navigation tag using the class name in the previous video we had learned how to set attribute to the element using set attribute method now using get attribute method you can get the attribute value you can also get the data attribute using get attribute method you can get any attribute value using this method just like this so i will just say console.log and in the parenthesis i will say now i will select my first navigation menu using the index number so i will say zero here and say get attribute and in the parenthesis i will specify name of my attribute so i will say data number here To access my second navigation menu attribute, I will just copy the statement, paste it here and just change the navigation menu index number to 1, right? But when you access your attribute using get attribute method, you need to write this code too long. To solve this problem, you have a dataset property. Using dataset property, you can get attribute value using attribute name. To read the data attribute, we have dataset property. To get the attribute value, specify dataset property dot the name of your data attribute which you had specified just after the data name, like this. I will just say console.log and in the parenthesis, I will first select my first navigation menu. So I will say now and in the square bracket, I will specify zero to select my first navigation menu and say dot dataset and specify your data attribute here. So I will just say number here. So here you just need to specify your data name. You don't need to specify the complete name of your data attribute here. So I will just say number here, right? So using this method, you can access your both navigation menu number, right? You can do the same thing with the second attribute also. So I will just copy the statement and paste it here and just change the number to name, right? So using this statement, you can access both navigation menu attribute. Now, you know that how to use a data property to access data attribute. Now, I just wanted to introduce a new useful property in JavaScript, which is class name. Using class name property, you can get or set value of the class attribute of the specified element. You can specify your class name using string. To specify multiple classes, separate your class name with spaces. For example, now in this example, we will create toggle class function. This function toggle two classes with the flag variable like this. So I will just first create a paragraph 
in the dom.html file so i will just say p class is equal to toggle right and specify some demo text so i will just say color this text right and create two css classes to change text color i will just go to the head section of this document and say style and just create a style tag and just say dot toggle in so this is my first class and specify color property light coral and then i will just create my second class dot toggle out and specify property color light blue right now just go to the main.js file in this file we will first get rid of these all statements and i will just say let toggle is equal to document dot query selector and select your paragraph with the class name I will just say toggle here right now just after that i will just create an anonymous function here so i will just say let color is equal to function and i will just specify an argument flag here and in the body of this function i will create if and else statement so i will just say if i will just specify my flag variable name here so i will just say flag and in the if statement i will just say toggle dot class name is equal to toggle in so when the if condition become true i just wanted to specify toggle in class to the paragraph and when the condition become false in the else statement i will say toggle dot class name is equal to toggle out right so when if condition become true i will specify toggle in class to the paragraph and if the condition become false i will specify toggle out class to the paragraph and just after that i will just call my function with the parameter so i will first specify true here and run this document so when you change the value of the flag argument you can see your text color will automatically change right because every time when you change the value of the argument the if condition will become true and false and specify different classes to the paragraph right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial